In this video, I will tell you how to get the most out of my channel. Here's the TLDR. Go to MCAE Consulting and download the PDFs that contain lists of my channel playlists. Okay, let me get into the long explanation. I get a lot of comments like, Hey Dave, can you make a video on this? A lot of the time, I already have a video on that subject. Or someone will post a basic question on a more advanced video. For example, they will watch a video on skeletons and ask how to create a sketch. Well, watch one of my videos on sketches, preferably starting with one of the basic videos. Or people say, Dave, you should have also covered this topic in your video. Likewise, I will have already covered that topic in another video. Of course, I don't expect people to watch every video on my channel or remember if I had covered something in a video that they had already watched. But why do I get so many comments like those? For one reason, some people would rather ask a question in a comment than take a few seconds to search for a video themselves. By the way, if you're the kind of person who likes to ask a lot of questions as the questions come up, you should look into hiring a consultant. But also, the search function in YouTube is not good. And you may have noticed Google search has gotten really bad. Allow me to go off on a brief tangent, but I promise I will get back to how you can get the most out of the Creo Parametric YouTube channel. Why is search in Google and YouTube so bad? For one reason, Google is more interested in serving you ads than giving you what you need. Also, with AI, search has gotten worse because they would rather keep you inside Google rather than clicking on a link. And third, YouTube is more interested in keeping you watching YouTube so they can serve you more ads as opposed to showing you the video you really want to watch. Even if you type in the exact name of one of my videos, it won't necessarily be the first or in the first few search results. Bottom line, it's hard to find my videos on a given subject by searching for that specific topic. But let's get back to how to get the most out of my channel. It helps if you understand why my videos are the way they are and some of the choices I've made regarding my channel. My target length on videos is three to six minutes. I know I often exceed this amount by a lot and a lot of the time. I'd really like the videos to be short enough for people who are at work to get the information they need to get their work done. If content appears in another video, I generally avoid repeating it. This helps keep the videos short. The channel is based around playlists. If you want or need more information about a particular subject, you should go to the playlist that contains the video. So, let's talk about the playlists on my channel. The playlists are numbered which is generally a good order to, to watch them in. If you're trying to learn a subject, watch Part Modeling 1, then Part Modeling 2, then Part Modeling 3, and so on. Like the videos, the playlists are short. I try to keep them under 8 videos. That's hopefully under an hour of material, but probably more like 1 to 2 hours. It's meant to be digestible, 
like a mini course when you have a short block of time to invest in your professional development. Unfortunately, if you take a look at a video's description, it does not contain a link to the playlist that contains it. I wish YouTube would change this. So, how can you find the content that you're looking for? You can search, but again, Google search and YouTube search are pretty bad. You can browse the playlist page on the channel, but as I'm making this, there are over 200 playlists. No one wants to browse through that many playlists. To address this, I have posted PDFs on my website, which are directories and lists of the playlists. Those PDFs contain hyperlinks to the playlists on YouTube. If you have users who are new to Creo, Windchill, or MathCAD, I recommend that you share these PDFs with them. I really do think of the PDFs as good quick start guides for people. However, they are not a substitute for training and consulting. Nothing beats instructor-led training with a real human for learning CAD and PLM. And like I mentioned earlier, you may also want to consider consulting if you don't want to, to sit through an instructor-led training class. If you are an admin, I recommend that you share these PDFs on a wiki or some other resource at your company so people can find them. I hope this helps you with your journeys in Creo Parametric, Windchill, MathCAD, and Onshape. Let me know your ideas for how I can help people. Thank you very much.